Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about mentors and how to find them. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, in your opinion, what is the best way to find a mentor to help me with my career in software development? And the short answer is, if you don't know anybody, you can probably find them in only two places, and that is in open source or in specific program platforms such as Exorcism or IO or something like that, where you have people who genuinely just like to help out. Let me explain. So what I'm saying here is that when it comes to finding a mentor, it's a, it's a very tricky thing because the vast majority of people are even though they are nice people, they have lives. I know it is a bitch to deal with that people because, uh, I mean, if we, if you ask anybody, you should ask my boss because he feels it's a very inconvenient thing that people have lives outside of the office. And for you, this is a problem as well because since people have lives, that means that they're more likely to spend their leisure time and time they're not do, doing their own thing on family and TV and other stuff. They're probably going to be very busy, even though they could probably help you out. And that's, that's a problem for you, because basically what you're asking in a, when it comes to asking for a mentor is that you, unless you're basically paying them to mentor you, you're going to have to uh, you're, you're going to have to cut into their free time. And most people are not willing to give away their free time, I'm sorry to say. Those who are willing to give, in your free, uh, give away their free time are usually the people who, as I was saying, they're in open source, as an example. So for you, it would make a lot of, I don't know, a lot of sense to maybe join the open source community. It's a very good place if you want to find people to contribute with. And although you may not be able to get the same relationship with an op other open source contributors as you would with a real proper mentor who's really invested in making sure that, you, I mean, a teacher is a very different sort of person to interact with than, say, an open source contributor. Then at the very least, what you're going to get is code reviews, and that is a form of mentorship. If you are contributing code to an open source project, then you're going to get that code reviewed and you're going to get feedback on that code. And if you have decent human beings doing the reviewing, they're actually going to give you helpful comments and adjust your process in a very organic fashion. This is also one of the most common uh, ways to improve your overall skills. And it's something that happens in, in a real IT, in a real professional environment where you have peer reviews and peer reviews are useful for you uh, in, for learning purposes as well as making sure that the code is nice. So that's something that you can do if you want to find something that is close to a mentor. The second thing, as I was saying, is that there are these learning platforms such as, I don't know, at the top of my head, I just know of Exorcism, but there are more where you can, you can submit code examples and you can get feedback on it and then you can talk to other people who are open to giving you mentorship and stuff like that. That's also something that you can do. The only, as from my perspective, downside with that is that the quality of feedback and the quality of mentor may vary because you can get mentors who are themselves very junior. You can get mentors who are, there's a range of people, let's say, let's call it that. That's, uh, and that makes it a little bit tricky sometimes to get to be confident in that you always get quality advice. But if you don't have any other way to find a mentor, then this is a way to do that. And apart from that, I don't re I don't have anything else for you because the last thing is to know somebody. I mean, let's take myself as an example. I have uh, I have a few fr a few people who has have reached out about mentorship programs and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, all I can tell them is that I can spare say two hours a week, uh, I'd say two hours total a week. That's what I'm willing to spare on. And I, of course I charge nothing for that. And I just, you know, we'll make some videos or something like that. We're pair program or stuff like that, right? And we'll upload this, this to my channel here because that's hopefully gonna help somebody else to learn from that process. So I'm happy to do that. But I also have a full-time job where I work 
full time as a software developer, which means that these two hours, they're going to come out of my weekend or because I have, you know, I make these videos as well. So my time is fairly limited. It's not that I, I mean, sure, if I had all the time in the world, then we could sit and just mentor all the, all the live long day. But at the some point, I need to rest as well. And the same thing goes for all the other pro professional programs. They have lives outside of, uh, of uh, software engineering. And that means that your best bet to get a solid mentor is to befriend people. To just, you need to make people feel like, you know what? Yeah, I think that it should be it sh it should be pretty fun to help this person out and so forth. And that is a it's a tough position. Uh, it, it's a, it's tough to make him to become somebody's friend and get a mentor if you you're not already there. So what I want you to take away from this is basically that if you don't have a way to connect with someone who is open to to mentorship and stuff like that, because you can reach out on social media, you can go on different profiles and just ask people, are you open to mentorship? And if that's not feasible to you, then I only have two tips left for you. And that is number one, to go into open source, which is a very good thing in general terms. It's not going to be the same thing as having a mentor who's really dedicated to helping you practice. But at the very least, you're going to get some, some practice contributing code and then you're going to get that code reviewed by somebody who is knowledgeable and that is sore that is a learning process in of itself it's not as high quality as a full-time mentor but it's at least something and lastly there is there are different programs where you can go and find mentorship from different people you can submit code and have it reviewed by people as part of, of different uh, forums and platforms and stuff like that but apart from that, I really urge you to just make it to just look around. Are there any people in your life or any people that you can find that are going to be open to give you some guidance a few hours a week or months or something like that? You can start out small and make a very small request and see where that takes you. And yeah, hopefully this is going to work out for you. Have a great day.